did the beef start with Kenzo? Bro, over something so dumb. Like, she's grown. You should be ashamed of yourself. Over me saying top two, not two, and me and Asian Doll song, she felt like it was about her. For some reason, I don't know why you would think that if we never had a problem. Mm -hmm. That's like if you say a line and I've, oh, it's about me. Why would I think that's about me if me and you have no problem? That don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. And she thought top two, not two was from there. But when she texted me about it, nigga, I'm not about to be like, now, oh, no, it's not about you. And you coming crazy at me. I'm not copping it. It ain't about you. But now you feel away. You know what to do, like. Okay, so what happened with the whole pull up on the block shit? Oh, God. A bunch, that's what I said about fraudulent activities, y'all. I hit her up. People thought she called me outside. I texted her that day because we was arguing over something. And I just got tired of it. I'm not about to keep every five, three months we about to argue on Instagram. No. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, what you doing today? Like, you want to link up? She was like, yeah, bet. What's the word? All right, boom. I, I sent her to Addie. I told her what time to come and all that. I'm not about to wait on you all day. You know who I am. I'm somebody. I got like I got something to do. I hit up. I said five o'clock. Feel me? She a bogus excuse talking about something. She ain't got no ride. Girl, what do you mean you got no ride? I'm like, I. Right. Once she said that from there, I knew we was not linking up. I knew it because it's just like you talking about you got no ride. Like I know what's happening from here. But the funny part is, I told my pops. I said, Yo, I already know what she gonna do. She going to come later when she know I'm not there, record my, come outside, my pops could merge. I told him this before it even happened. Mm -hmm. They like, nah, I don't know, nah, I don't think you going to do that. I'm like, all right, y'all all, right. all going to see, boom. Next thing I know, my Instagram blowing up. Mm -hmm. Homegirl come 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. What's wrong with you, girl? Like, where's your parents at? I know mine's ain't letting me just go outside 1, 2 o'clock in the morning to go fight. Like, where's yours at? What's going on? So, so did y'all y'all argue since then or, like, what happened? Because you saw it the next day? Did you see it that night? Like, what happened? Nah, yeah, I saw it that night, and we was texting or whatever. And then the next day, because I had told her, I had told her, I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not about to keep doing this to you. Like, if you want to see me tomorrow, you can see me tomorrow. Because I'm, I'm going to be there. Like, nobody was coming today at 12 o'clock. You're dumb. And she is, like, she, 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 malicious. She planned that word of my dad. Like, she knew what she was doing. That girl is evil. But Do you feel like y'all beef would ever, hold on. Good guys. Do you feel like y'all beef would ever come to an end? Like, I don't, it don't seem that serious. It's really not. It's not. I could say, I told, I admitted that to multiple people, that we're beefing for no reason. But it comes to a point where, oh, we got to shake. Like, sorry, yeah. too much has been said. And once certain lines get crossed, you can't go back on that. You spoke to my pops. It's that he from there, I want to fight. Guys, it's Taylor. Make sure you follow us for more exclusives at www.talkofthetownshow.com. Like, comment, and subscribe.